Howdy folks and welcome to a DMZ screencast. We're going to start doing more of these, but today we're going to talk about how you can avoid paying for Windows 7 Professional just to get remote desktop. Okay, When you go to buy Windows 7, the Professional version almost doubles in price, even upgrade or what have you. You can save that money and, and if you're running a headless HTPC and, and using Media Center, where a problem comes can come in is the fact that you need to be able to take control of that system, make changes to Media Center, and, and, and do things that you need to do without having to, to uh, put a monitor and a mouse and a keyboard. If you're like me, I, w I want a headless unit. I'm, it's a server. I want it to act as a server, so I want to keep it headless. Uh, what we want to be able to do, though, is do everything that we could do by sitting on the local machine. And the problem is, is number one, with Windows 7, with the home premium version, you don't get remote desktop. That's number one. If you want remote desktop, you got to pay for professional. But the problem is, and we're going to take a look at it here real quick, and this is my RDP session over to my media server. If I open Windows Media Center, which it will play, and, and I didn't even realize that it would run at all uh, in an RDP session, but Windows Media Center will open. But if we go in here and we take a look, what we find is that by going to settings, and especially this is, for me, one of the more important ones, is going to TV, I can't make changes really I mean I can change my guide I can change my recorder storage I mean it's a lot like being on an extender you can make the changes that you can make on an extender but the problem is you can't make changes like setting up live TV uh, you can't make changes like um, another good example sc scanning for more channels in Quam or ATSC if you know for some reason there's a new Quam channel available in your area can't scan for channels and anything so now you're thinking oh, I gotta go to the PC and do this I'm gonna have to get out a monitor and hook it to it and move it around and do all these things well that's not true while well, RDP will help you set up libraries and do things like that and of course anything that you want to do in the desktop area you're gonna be able to do that as well it's not gonna help you with setting up television and whatnot so really now we're saying okay do we need to run a VNC connection or how am I going to do this? Well, Microsoft actually provides a free solution. So why pay for a professional to get remote desktop when there's a free solution out there that you can use with home, premium, and that's called Live Mesh. A Live Mesh is a Microsoft service and software. You install the software. Every PC in your home that you install the software on, you can make them sync files. You can select folders. And actually, if you look over here, you can see these are some of the folders that I have synchronized with my mesh. If I go in here though, you'll see I have a selection under my live that my live mesh software to connect to the device. So when I click that, what I'm basically going to get is a remote desktop session. But the great part is is that you get a lot more functionality than you do with a standard RDP, at least when it comes to Media Center. So let me just log in here, and I'm going to log into my uh, my HTPC, my media server. And we'll go ahead and put this to full screen. And of course it takes a minute. You're really going through, I, I think with Live Mesh you're really going through the internet, even though I'm on my local network. So admittedly, it's a little bit slower than, say, an RDP session that's on your local network. But if I click Media Center, it might give you a warning telling you that it's not going to work because of video, RAM, or what have you. I don't get this error on my HTPC, so I'm not worried about it. Now again, you'll notice this is a bit slower. Okay. Uh, you can see when I try to move the window, things like that. I mean, it does slow down, but does that really matter? What we're here to do is to make changes that we can't make in another way. So if we go to our tasks now, what we find is that by going here, now all of a sudden we have that TV signal option. I can scan for channels. I can set up my TV signal. Uh, I have to assume that if I had ATSC set up, I'd be able to see my signal bars, things of that nature. So again, Live Mesh is a free solution so that you don't have to buy Windows 7 Professional if you don't need some of the other features that come with it, and so that you don't have to uh, worry about remote desktop and, and having that uh, service available to you. You can buy the Windows Home Premium. If all you, you, know, you want to make sure you have the Media Center, you've got to go with the Windows Home Premium, get that, install Live Mesh, and you'll be ready to go. So again, this has been a, a screencast by the DMZ. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be doing more of these soon, and uh, hopefully they're helpful for everyone. Let us know if there's something specific you'd like to see screencast, maybe get some help, or to demonstrate something that, uh, that you don't quite know how to do. We're happy to do that for you. Thanks for watching.